Alright guys, I finally convinced Artanis to pay his electricity bill. Although, I kind of load up an older save I had that was of all three of the first three missions being done. So, we didn't miss anything, we didn't skip anything, we just kind of done some other things. Now, let's go over here to the assembly panel. Now, in Legacy of the Void campaign, each of like, the specific like, classes of units Protoss have, we can choose between one of three factions for each of the units. So, like, let's look at Zealot. Now, we have the, the Iyer faction, we have Zealots. These guys have a Solarite Axe, and they have a special spinning attack, as you can see right up there in the video. They're very good at killing things. Now we go... Now we go to the Centurion, which is the Nerezim, the Dark Templar. They can charge it and actually invisible while they're doing it. And, whenever, with their Dark Coil ability, they stun an enemy ground unit and any units near it for 2.5 seconds. So while they might not be as deadly as the Zealot, and they're actually in combat, they can serve much more, much more of a supportive role. So which one are we going to do? Use. Um, well, for right now, we're mostly be fighting Zerglings. Later on in the campaign, we'll probably be fighting more harder enemies like Roaches and Hydralis. But since we're primarily fighting Zerglings, the Zealot's probably going to be better. Now, we even have the pick for our ranged warrior, the Stalker. Which really is only beneficial if we use Blink. Or Dragoons. Now, the Dragoons are just straight up better in combat than Stalkers. They're a bit clunkier. But I'm going to go with Dragoons. One, I like Dragoons. Two, simply put, they're just better units. Obviously they don't have Blink, but that is alright. Karax, even without the Kala's light, I can sense your sadness, your pain. Does the Spear of a Doom bring you no joy? That is just it, Hierarch. Without the Kala, it is as if I am blind. I cannot sense your feelings, know the true depth of your thoughts. I cannot call upon the surety of other face smiths. I am alone. I feel the isolation as well, as though thrashing within the vacuum of space. But you are not alone, brother. To think, the Dark Templar have endured this existence all this time. The days ahead will not be easy. We may not have the Kala to rely on, Karax, but we still stand as one. We will endure. There is no other option. Alright, so let's get to our next mission. Amon's Reach. Aid the evacuation. The Zerg infestation is overtaking Talmetros. Our evacuation is already in great peril. Your aid cannot come soon enough, Hierarch. Yeah, new unit, the Dark Templar. Shakuras teams with Amon Zerg broods. We hold only the southwest quadrant of Talametros, and even that is in peril. We must evacuate our people, but the launch bays have been defiled with infestation. Only ground forces can clear them. Once the bays are free, the planetary warp conduit will allow our ships to escape safely. The launch bays will be cleared. Your people will survive, Matriarch. This I swear. You will need the aid of my Dark Templar in this battle. They can 
can strike from the shadows without fear of reprisal. All right, so we need to clear out all the launch bays so that the Dark Templar can evacuate from Shakuras. Indeed, completing the bonus objectives will allow me to improve the Spear of Adun's power. There are two vaults left in the city. I am intrigued. Artanis, I'm detecting a rift opening near your position. Avoid Thrasher. By the gods, it's sieging the warp conduit. Karax, are any of the Spear of Adun's weapon systems ready for use? Orbital strike is online. Designating targets. The Thrasher has been weakened. Warriors, move in and seal its fate. strikes can now be fired from the Spirit of a Doom's command panel, Hierarch. The Thrasher is slain, but it will be for naught if the launch bays remain infested. I will comply. I am I guess it doesn't matter if there's one roach. Well, yeah, well, I'll hate myself later. Kidding me. Be careful. The spore crawlers and overseers ahead can detect our Dark Templar's movements. Slay them first. The Zerg have extensively fortified this area. An orbital strike would help us break through their defenses. But the Phantom. Clever. I am the blade of the Narith. Spore crawlers are considered. Armor, but we need all four shots to kill one. No, I got five. Oh, fall back, fall back, fall back. Alright, we can engage that one. defenses. The Zerg are moving to attack our Nexus point. Well, thank you, Calderon. Uh, monolith. From the shadows, I Alright, so there's another Void thrash Thrasher now. There we go, we got that down, now we can just use our Dark Templar and eliminate the Thrasher. There is a Overseer that will reside up there, so you have to be careful. And the Void Thrasher's attacks can still hit you like that, because his area of effect. Thrasher has been eliminated. This would be an opportune moment to clear the launch bays. By the void. Yes, it would, Artanis. I'm actually going to take that opportunity and now I'm going to start constructing more the troops. Continue evacuating.
Thank you, Mr. Overseer. Up oh, now, dead to grins. Let's wait for these three more Dragoons to get up here. Then I'll advance the rest of my troops. Must be done. I'm not sure if I actually want to do it. Second Void Frasher down. Now let's actually get to clearing the launch base. We have secured a second launch bay. Well done. Half of the bays are launching evacuation ships. Actually, I do want to head back up there. Because there is a solarite cache that I'm going to want.
another thrasher failed. Is there no end to these abominations? Yeah, they'll eventually end, Artanis. Don't worry. Just quit complaining about it. you end up in there? We are recovering the last Solarite reserve now. The solar core should be augmented by the time our forces return, Hierarch. You must place that in a power field. I will come. Artanis, what I just did makes a Protoss player somewhere upset. This one is in the heart of the city. And Dragoons, just like in Brood War, terrible pathing. I'm very glad they managed to keep that authenticity of how they acted. Finish this. Shagoons. <sighs> well done, brave warriors. Amon's thrashers are no match for the Templar. There we go, mission completed. The launch bays have been reclaimed. Matriarch, you may complete the evacuation. You have saved my people, Artanis, and they will never forget it. Alright guys, well first let's head to the War Council, to the Assembly Panel. Now we now have picked the Dark Templar, which has the Shadow Fury ability. Which as you can see there, they can they can strike and they can immediately teleport and attack somewhere else. This ability is on a cooldown. Or, we can pick Avengers. These guys, while offensively they have no special trait of their own. They are effectively like the Dark Templar we just had in the last mission. What makes them different is when they die, they are revived at a Dark Shrine. 
Now, they can live, they can be killed every minute and then revive themselves. So theoretically, they can act basically immortal for all you need, but we are going to go with the regular Dark Templar. And I think that's where we're going to end this episode for today, guys, so I'll see you all next time. Please visit it at your earliest convenience. And the earliest convenience is going to be next episode. I'll see you all later.